Welcome to Channel 5 News. I'm Emma Crosby. The issue of assisted dying is a highly emotive and divisive one in which debate always rages. But tonight, our exclusive poll has revealed strong support towards euthanasia for dementia sufferers. The survey suggests that nearly two-thirds of people would support assisted dying for dementia patients who can no longer recognise their family if they'd expressed the wish to die when they were still mentally capable. Well, today, the Director of Public Prosecutions responded to our findings and said any legal guidance would have to reflect those views. Our health correspondent, Catherine Jones, has been hearing from people with opposing views on the matter for the next in our special series on the Dementia Challenge. It is a moral dilemma rarely out of the headlines. Would it be right or wrong to help someone to die? Euthanasia for people with dementia is an even thornier ethical issue, but there are advocates who believe it's worth campaigning for, like former GP Michael Irwin, who helped a man in the early stages of dementia to end his life in Switzerland last year. He got what he wanted, a dignified end, and not ending up in some advanced stage of dementia, which he would not want to tolerate and he knew would be something that his family wouldn't want to remember him by. To me, dementia is no different to any other serious illness in the sense of having a choice as to how you want to handle it. I don't want my family um, to see me a shadow of my former self. Now, this is my advanced decision. It used to be called a living will. Dr. Irwin has already specified he wants no medical treatment if he develops advanced dementia, but he wants the law to allow him to leave advance instructions for doctors to take his life at that stage. Anti-euthanasia campaigners argue that's an unacceptably dangerous step. If you change the law to allow euthanasia, then inevitably you place pressure on vulnerable people, and people with dementia are, are amongst the very most vulnerable in our society, so easily coerced and abused. And the other thing is that people tend to make decisions very differently when they're well than when they're ill. Uh, many people with dementia are quite happy in their little world. But where in this debate do people directly affected by dementia stand? Tom Coppins has mild dementia and believes making a decision about your own death in advance would be impossible. It's very, very difficult to make any sort of decision now about how you would feel in the future. All you can do is guess. And however bad you are, whatever stage you're at, to you, you're still normal. It's still you. Uh, and you wouldn't want to die. Viv Galley's husband, Bill, has Alzheimer's, and she does sympathise with those who would like the option of a quicker exit. He actually said when he got bad, he would kill himself. Um, and I said, well, that's a bit selfish. You know, what, what would I do then? And he said, you don't want to have me hanging round your neck. Um, but obviously it's gone too far for him to even consider that. I can well understand you know, where people are coming from with it, I really can. And, and I've got to say, there has been times when you think, oh, yes, it'd be, yes, you yes. know, what's, he, what's his life? What's his life now? Who's this? At the heart of the euthanasia debate are opposing views of what gives our lives value. Oh, look, what was she doing, letting her cuddle you? No. And that makes the idea of assisting the death of someone with dementia so controversial, as it may be impossible to tell if they value their life or not. Catherine Jones, Channel 5 News. Yeah, yeah, yeah.